Hey, yo, yaho, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I am super Yankee, and it's two days to returning to America. Yay! Right now I'm in Spain, been in Spain for a long time, spend the majority, if not the entirety of quarantine in Spain. Although I'm going back to America to quarantine, which is going to be weird. But things have opened up in Madrid again, and it's been like a couple of months. I think a couple of months that people have been getting back into the normalistic lifestyle that they had beforehand. Now everyone's just wearing a mask. And I think that what was interesting was that quarantine was like telling people that this was a real thing. People are going to complain about quarantine. And I think it probably wasn't the best kind of situational thing for us as a species. But I do think it made people a lot more aware that the problem is here. But this is not a video about quarantine. This is a video about planning. This is a video about getting excited. This is a video about getting excited and happy about life again. Because one of the most important things I think that people that want to create, produce content, have to take into accountability is the personalization of the experiences that they make. Today on my Twitch stream, for the first time in a really, 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 really long time, I actually saw some of my old videos. And dude, I need to watch like all of my old videos again because that, those were like such great, fun experiences. And all my new videos are just me talking in front of the camera here in my room. And that's not what I started doing YouTube for. That's not what I want to share about. You know, I mean, I want to work on all the stuff that I'm doing. I want to work on my ideas. I want to share these experiences with you. I want to give you this energy because I got too much energy. And literally speaking, if I have all this energy in me and then I don't use it, that's when it becomes toxic. If I don't use it, it becomes toxic. And <laughs> I think I just have to give some away. But in order to do this, I gotta go out and I gotta do things. I gotta see things. Like there's this mountain that I've been thinking about climbing for quite a whiz while. I still don't know how to get there, but I'm sure I can figure it out if I just try and put my mind to it. Um, my friend probably knows a way to get to this mountain that I don't know, but I have a video camera so I can make a video of doing that and I could share that experience with you all. And to be talking about wanting to do something and then actually putting your mind to it and actually doing it. And what I think stops a lot of people from enjoying the lives that they're living or having fun along the road that they're headed down is that they forget to like put themselves in their experiences. They forget to personalize their own experiences because the experiences are so on auto repeat day after day, week after week, month after month, that they just become bland. It's just the same thing repeated every single day and you forget to put your heart, you forget to put your emotion, you forget to put your spirit into those experiences. And that's been one of my biggest problems here in Spain. I live around the world, I live around the world. Isn't that crazy? But it just gets so normalized that like literally I forget to put myself, my energy, my heart, my spirit, my ideas into the life I'm living. And then when I go back to like this normalistic state of mind, I start falling into the same common pitfalls, those traps of habits, binge eating, wah, all that, all that nonsense. I start falling back into it again because that is the default network. That is how my mind is set to perform on a state of like not novel stimulus, of not having to, like not being required to have to think about my environment, just living just to live, you know, just to bridge the gap to the next big step. But it's not about enjoying the next big step. And honestly speaking, I can tell you with this next big step thing that there is no next big step when I get back to America. The next big step is literally just not doing some of the bad things that I've done for the past seven years. Like there's nothing like there that I really want to do when I get back to America, I, I kind of just want to lay down low and focus on correcting some of the problems that I've noticed in myself over the past seven years, because that's what I think the next five years in this whole journey to 30 years old is going to be, because you know, that's what it is. It's a journey and like 20, 10 years is a long time. 10 years is a long time, especially when you're long, you're young, and especially when you're like making experiences. 10 years can go by really quick if you're doing the same things every single day. But if you're doing lots of different things and you're going to lots of different places and you're trying to think about the world around you, time actually becomes its proper amount. It becomes pretty slow, right? But if you're not thinking about these things, if you're just playing video games and watching TV shows and binge and taking content, time's gonna go by really fast because you're not gonna notice anything go by. It's just gonna be 
watching another TV show, watching another episode, playing another video game. And yo, that's what I think we've really got to be about when we are thinking about our own experiences and the personalization that we need to have in our own stories. Man, that's what makes great storytellers great storytellers because they put themselves back in the moment when they're telling the story. And that's what's so cool. Like I could tell stories and stories and stories for days and days and days and days and days. The problem is that I have to think about what I want to say. And usually speaking, when I'm not like in the moment, when I'm not excited about what I'm saying, when I'm not excited about what I'm doing, I'm not interested in that. I'm not really like about like, oh, I need to put myself in the moment. Like it kind of like degrades my ability to give you energy and to give myself energy and to recreate the experiences that I've had in the past. And that's what really creates like this stagnated life that makes me think to myself, oh, why am I even here? What am I doing, man? Rub, rub, rub. It makes me just so like upsetty spaghetti. And we're putting a stop to that really soon because we're going back to America. We're getting Yankee. We're getting hype. I said the exact same thing every single year. <laughs> every single year. Remember when I came back from Japan? I said the exact same thing that I'm saying in this video right now, but I'm older right now. And I have more knowledge and more internalization and I can feel the Genki. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's all over the place, but that's what we're here to do, to share these all over the place, personalized experiences with you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.